What is up, YouTube? Uber guy here, <clears throat> bringing to you another commentary. This one just so happened to be the worst gun in the submachine category class. It is the PM9. I don't know what the fuck this is named out after, or nor do I care. Um, to me, this is this is the knockoff version of the Uzi. I mean, honestly, it just seems like <clears throat> they wanted to be halfway modern and be like, hmm, we can't put in the Uzi because we put in the Uzi in Mono for 2 and we put in COD 4. Uh, everybody uses it in COD 4, but nobody really uses it in Mono for 2. Hmm. We're just going to have to create another gun. And uh, holy shit, this fucking gun sucks, guys. Now, <clears throat> I will take into consideration that uh, after the patch, this gun has. It's now usable, but it's not comfortable usable because of the iron sights. Um, believe it or not, this wasn't the hardest gun to get uh, gold. Uh, one of my hardest guns was to get gold would happen to be the AA-12 and some of the heavy machine guns just based on the amount of kills you could get with it. Uh, possible attachments, guys. I'll just give you a rough, a rough estimate. Uh, I would throw on... What I'm rocking right now is, I think it's just thermal and kick. No, nothing special because the, I, I, virtually, I want no kick from the weapon. Therefore, it's easier to pick up kills. You know, the, uh, the more kick you have on the gun, the less chance you have of all your bullets hitting. Therefore, dropping the enemy quicker. I decided to go with thermal. I would have went with ACOG. But I didn't want that awkward zoom in from the ACOG, and there's really not a reticle that I like. I would I would have went for a red dot, but I'm afraid of the recoil. In this way, if I just go for a thermal sight, it, I could see you know enemies camping like that guy. Oh my god! I swear, <clears throat> I don't know how uh, how hard you you were camping Medic Canyon, but uh, it, Jesus Christ, dude, get out the bush. It's okay. Um. I'm. I put this class with a throwing knife. Really, this is my throwing knife class. I use this when I'm just trying to get a lot of throwing knives, and surprisingly, I'm getting some beast ass throwing knife kills with this gun, uh, or with this class rather, not with a gun. Um, I don't. I don't necessarily use this gun unless I have to. Um, I would rate this gun, it's not bad since the patch. Before the patch, it was really, really bad. I would rate, have to rate this gun at least a 3 out of 10. But after the patch, it is usable. Not 100% usable, but it's halfway usable. Um, with a, a select few of attachments. I would prefer you run this with a thermal. Some type of a rectical, because the iron sight is just tremendously horrible. And the recoil pattern that you get, even though if you put on kick, is still pretty inconsistent. Therefore, I would, I would recommend this gun maybe a five out of ten, guys. Uh, maybe there. See, <clears throat> when it comes to to range, this gun is not your best friend. It, it sometimes I find it taking me th three, maybe even seven bullets sometimes to kill at a distance, which is why I'm going for the thermal sight because I can hold my breath and keep my shots on target. That is the biggest pet peeve about this gun. Now. On the fucked up side of this gun, they made this gun the fastest shooting gun out of everything. It's fast. It's a, it, not the fastest. It's not the fastest firing rate out of maybe the Barrett, I believe. No, it's even faster than the Barrett, and and that's crazy because it drops nobody like how the gun necessarily should, and that's the bad part about it. See, like right there, I you know I thought I had to kill because the guy was shooting at him prior. And I couldn't pick up the kill, just like there. Um, I had the beat on the guy, but you know, just with the ACR and its rate of fire, has better knockdown power. That's how it was able to get me off guard. So, <clears throat> it, I would, I would basically rate this gun as a very underrated and underused gun. Uh, a lot of people might just use this for trolling. Or necessarily when they want to embarrass you or I killed you with a P9. I mean, it's not a bad gun, but then again, it's not one of the greatest of the guns. I would still recommend that. If I had to choose, though, uh, between the MP5 and this gun, because those are at maybe the bottom tier guns, I would still have to choose this gun over the MP5, only because the rate of fire. Um, 
But the MP5, I don't know what the fuck they did with the fire rate. They tried to fix the recoil, but it seems like to me they just fucked it up entirely. Um, uh, back in COD 4, I know I'm bringing up old games always, but back in COD 4, it was beautiful. And MP5 had a beautiful recoil pattern, and it had only three shots to kill. It, it was about three to five shots to kill, depending on your range and distances. It, it basically it, it was Modern Warfare's uh, or the recent Modern Warfare's COD 4 gun. You know, you know that that was the go-to gun. It was a silenced MP5 or the AK7 for you. The Modern Warfare 2 was the ump. That was the predominant gun in its class. The shotguns were OP by themselves, but just that alone, you know, made it OP. <clears throat> um, another thing I like to mention is that when you're when you're necessarily running with this gun, you, you do have uh, your run speed. I notice you can run about two times faster. Uh, of course, the fastest gun you can run with is the USAS 12, thanks to Drifter. Um, that gun just seems to get you up and down any place. You you could basically run a whole map with a USAS 12 if you know if you know what you're doing. Uh, <clears throat> it's not a it's not a bad gun with this raise and drop time. I mean it is it is fairly fast. Uh, it's to me it feels a tad bit faster than the uh, than a lot of the uh, FMGs, but I would still prefer. I would I would my go to SMG. Uh, it's changed over a period of time. It, it's all depending on what I'm trying to do. If I'm trying to push bots for accuracy, I typically go for the MP7. MP7 will not fail you on accuracy. I don't care. It it it, it will it will be on point. <clears throat> you throw a silencer on it, it'll be deadly accurate on point, and you will rarely ever miss a hit marker shot. Uh, <clears throat> only problem with that is your bullets to kill might increase because you're rocking out a silencer with that. Uh, a gun that will never fail you. Another gun would be the the PP M901 or I, I keep fucking up the, that name, but I believe you guys know what gun I'm talking about, the submarine gun as I like to call it. Um, that gun's rate of fire. It just imagine a lower rate of fire of this gun with the accuracy of the MP7. Uh, the rate of fire that that gun spits out and how accurate it is is very very deadly. Um, I believe that's up there in the in the first tier guns along with the FMGs and uh, uh, the ACR and shit like that because the gun just drops literally people so incredibly fast. I mean it's it, it, it I mean it, it's really when you look at it you're just like wow that killed me that fast you're just like what the fuck you know is he hacking or something you're like no all his if if three consecutive bullets hit you at close range chest up you're dying. And best believe if you have like maybe halfway damage or 75% of your damage, two shots, one shot to the head, you're, you're dropping. I, I've noticed this and I've seen this a lot, especially with uh, this gun. MP7 on the other hand, it's just so damn accurate, you, you really don't really need all your shots to be on contact per se, only because of its its accuracy and its rate of fire is not that bad. If you it if you put uh, um, ra uh, rapid fire on MP7, it goes up to about I believe it's only 11% increase. But the PPM9, it's a 33% uh, increase, which is why rapid fire is just so OP and it's banned on MLG. And then you have uh, I believe every other gun is like anywhere from like 11, 12%, 15%. You know, that it's really moderate. And then if you put rapid fire on the P90, I found out the P90 is a really big contester. It could really compete because of its ammo size with the MP7. It could compete with the uh, uh, the, P the PP. But um, you guys really have to watch this kill cam. This kill cam is beautiful. I, I, I wanted to hit him with a throwing knife. But watch how I get the kill cam, guys. Swear to God, this is 100% intentional. But because I got this kill cam, I'm going to say I'm a boss. Bank shot. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys. <laughs> we'll be out. Later.